Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. There are plenty of reasons you might want to test your internet's connection performance or your upload and download speed. Maybe you've upgraded your service or moved to a new location or you want to make sure you're getting the bandwidth you pay for. Or maybe you're trying to troubleshoot a specific problem or test some specific hardware you've installed to your system. Now, the most popular site to test your bandwidth or your internet speed is probably speedtest.net. That is the one everyone goes to. If you do a Google search for internet speed test, it will be the first one to show up. It is by far the most popular. The biggest problem with using a site like speedtest.net is that it relies heavily on third-party plugins such as Java and Adobe Flash. Now, the problem is that both of these plugins are insanely popular. They're used throughout everything which means that they are far more likely to be the target of malicious attacks and software and viruses, trojans, that sort of thing. And so by having these plugins running on their site, if you happen to be using an outdated version of it, then you are at risk for possibly getting an infection or having additional ads put on your system, having all kinds of problems that you can run into by having outdated plugins. And since both of these plugins are so highly targeted, it means that both companies put out a lot of updates for them. And it's not necessarily a way to get them to automatically update on your system. So you see, the problem is that you could end up having an outdated version, even if you just updated your version yesterday or the day before. So what I want to show you today is an alternative way to test your internet speed or bandwidth in a much safer way using HTML5 based sites. Now HTML is basically hypertext markup language. That's what it essentially stands for. And HTML5 is the newest version of that. Now without getting too technical there, HTML is the backbone language of the internet for the most part. It is what allows communication between your device and an external website. And with the introduction of HTML5, they allowed you to be able to run multimedia and scripting and things of that nature within the actual website itself and not have to rely on third-party plugins such as Java or Flash. And with it being HTML5 and not Java or Flash-based, you can actually use these sites on mobile devices or tablets of that nature that inherently have Java and Flash disabled by default. Now, the first of these that I want to show you is speedof.me. Now, all of the links to the sites I'm going to mention are going to be in the video description below. And I want to put out there real quick that this is not a sponsored video. These sites are not contacting me to try and promote them. They don't even know I'm making the video, nor will they see this before you will. So a site like speedof.me runs via HTML5, meaning all the scripting, all the testing, everything it's doing is running within the native code of the website itself. No additional plugins required so that there isn't as much of a security risk on this. And you get the same kind of data presented that you would get on speedtest.net. Another popular HTML5 speed test site would be sourceforge.net slash speed test. And again, the link will be down in the description. Now, this particular one runs a lot more tests than the speed of dot me. Speed of dot me will give you a lot of information based on your upload, your download, your latency and things of that nature. Tell you how fast it would take to get certain files. But SourceForge provides a whole lot more information where you can see what your latency is, see what your jitter, how much noise is on the line, how much packet loss you have, your quality of service, buffer bloat, and a whole lot of other things. So if you're wanting a little bit more of a detailed report on your internet test, you can use SourceForge.net. The third and final HTML5 based speed test I want to mention to you guys is BandwidthPlace.com. They have a really nice, easy to use internet speed test there, but it's very basic in the information you get. You get your upload, your download, and your average ping to the server that you're testing. It's a really good way to make sure you're getting the speeds that you're paying for. And I will leave you with those three sites. There's many more of them out there. If you want to Google HTML5 speed test or something similar to that, you'll see that there's rows and rows of possible options. These are just the ones as an IT professional that I use myself and highly recommend to my customers. If you have any questions, do drop them in the comments below. And if you found the video useful, please do me a favor and hit the like button. Thank you guys so much for your time and I will catch you later.